questions everybody was commenting was very good for the last few nights and the questions all the time are very good, shows the, the level of, of, of commitment within the last two years from timeless reality. Alhamdulillah many people bought it, studied it and now their questions are much deeper in the practices. We pray that Allah expand their hearts and, and understanding and their ishq and love for Sayyidina Muhammad his holy companions and holy family inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, how can we incorporate the concept of nothingness in professional life? People from some cultures take mannerisms as weakness and cause harm. What is the right balance? <clears throat> well, no, the nothingness I think we described tonight has nothing to do with your dunya. This has to do with your spiritual life in which you accept that you are nothing and that to empty your cup and this is the, the term for all spiritual paths, empty your cup, come to the master with an empty cup. Now in work you have to do certain work and, and, and certain things that uh, still can be through humility. You know you don't have to, to, to be overtaken by people but this is about your spiritual path. But when you begin to learn certain systems in work and to be like a shark and overtake and, and you know self-promote yourself like you do in work and you want to do that in tariqah, no, that's where the big no-no. Don't bring your dunya understanding into tariqah environment. Take a life in which to be nothing, the more you're nothing. The more you're, you're attracting and coming closer. The minute you start to put a charge onto yourself and, and to recognize yourself, you actually begin to repel from that reality. InshaAllah. <coughs> uh, as Salaamu Alaikum Shaykh Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, what is the reality of our five fingers? You had talked about it in a previous talk. About what? The fingers. Five fingers. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reality of five fingers? That you have five on one side and you have five on the other side. Maybe in relation to the Ahlul Bayt and the companions maybe? <laughs> yeah, that's a different topic. <laughs> Bouncing around then um, yeah, it'll take off my… <laughs> My, my line of thought is on something else, yeah, inshaAllah. Okay. But alhamdulillah Allah gave us ten fingers, some people inshaAllah, <laughs> all, all people have ten, or some people have <laughs> less than ten, but alhamdulillah. <laughs> There's always a secret in everything and these are all on the website. Everything is on nurmuhammad.com. Any questions uh, regarding uh, du'as and, and conditions is always help me at nurmuhammad.com and there's an ocean of uh, knowledges on the website. And you can Google it in the search or you can search it in the search engine of the website. And then the articles usually pull up with the sort of attributable video, the applicable videos in the article so you can actually hear the talk and then the article has all of the Qur'an and hadith that is attached to it. So the hands is a huge and, and deep subject and it's in I think timeless reality, it should be in the meditation book and the importance of of the energy upon the hands and then the symbols of the hands, inshaAllah. As what did we talk about last night? Hmm? Sayyidina Ali alayhi salam. Sayyidina Ali salam, yeah. No. And binary code? No, we didn't talk about binary code. We, what did we talk about? The ba. <laughs> uh huh. The ba. Bismillah. InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi. Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Can you please advise on the correct adab to commemorate holy events like Urs and Wiladat of our hol the holy ones? I'm not hearing very good, I don't know why. Uh, Sayyidi, can you please advise on the correct adab to commemorate holy events like Urs and Wiladat of holy ones? You know, watch our live broadcasts. <laughs> this dad, what, what, what could be uh, more more holy than the way that we conduct ourselves? That's why we ask you to watch <laughs> each each urs and birthday and everything. 
that we conducted with one coming and acknowledging the, the holiness of the event with the Mawlid the Nabi because what makes everyone holy is the amount of love they had for Sayyidina Muhammad So there always has to be a majlis in which you praise the king. So their only holiness is, is the amount of love they had for Prophet that's what distinguishes holiness. So we always have a majlis that is praising the king and, and praising the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad then alhamdulillah if there's a talk, an association you can listen to a talk from that night, you can google it on our YouTube and then say, oh well, you know the urs of this, the wiladat of that and the, there'll be a talk there and then alhamdulillah the, the zikr and to attend the majlis and the zikr and uh, that's the, the best that you can do. And for families you can invite uh, people of like mind over to, to watch the event, the, the give food is also good. Support those who are giving food so you don't have to go out and do it, we're doing it. So if you watch all of our posts, mashaAllah, they've, they've given a, for urs and, and uh, wiladat, we used to have just a birthday cake at our center and that was it. Now we have about five or six around the country that are giving out food, a birthday comes and all of a sudden you see the vans in Pakistan are moving in uh, Chicago, Los Angeles, Vancouver. So feeding you know thousands of people when a birthday comes, a urs comes, a wiladat comes and that was uh, from we were just having a little cake at the center on these occasions, Allah expanded that and now every occasion there's food and, and goods and thousands of pounds of food being distributed for all of these events. So inshaAllah Allah happy with these actions and, and wants food distributed in their names and gives us more. So by supporting you support the trucks to go out, the food to be procured, the gas to be paid, the center's rents to be paid for everything. Everything has an expense so alhamdulillah. So you want to give food out or help us to give food out but you can see now we're everywhere. We're in Pakistan, they're in India, I think uh, Tawfiq is trying to open up in Kenya and uh, if you just email help me at nurmuhammad.com it's very simple. We're going to have a package in which is a logo and a design template for our shirt. You'll take that logo, go print it on a blue shirt, start getting some food and giving it away. Send us the pictures and immediately we can begin to propagate and promote and inshaAllah Allah send you more and more and more ability to do that. And we can be everywhere on this earth, just a matter of people wanting to do something, get up off the couch and go out and do it inshaAllah. Although I'm sitting on the couch. <laughs> Little bit of action and you can't imagine what Allah opened. Do you remember how we're sitting there? For every birthday all we had is a cake. Now when you look at wilad that comes up, what do you see on the internet? SubhanAllah. Hundreds of people fed in Pakistan, people fed in Los Angeles, people fed in Chicago, people fed in, in Vancouver. So it's no longer just a birthday cake sitting on a couch. It's thousands of pounds of food being distributed in these names of these people whom we love. Means Allah found acceptance with that love and the expression of that love and then I want to give you even better ajr that I'm going to send you these thousands of pounds of food distributed in their names so I can write even more rewards for you. Because if Allah didn't like you then He would say, don't give anything out, I don't want anything to be written for you. Alhamdulillah Allah is generous and, and immense, just look back at ourselves. Two years ago it's just a cake, now there's thousands of pounds of food being distributed all over the world on these holy nights inshaAllah. Uh, as Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Is there a correct way of using Asfand? The one I purchased from Amazon looked like it was mixed with soil. Are you able to provide <laughs> where to get it from? <laughs> That'll teach you not to buy from Amazon. Go to smcmerch.com. <laughs> There's an S-Van and you put it on uh, tin foil and you can put it over the stove. If it's a burner or electric you put a little bit of tin foil, put a little bit of the S-Van and you put the heat at a medium heat so that you're not burning it.
but you want to slowly and lightly ignite it. Don't put it over charcoal because the charcoal immediately makes everything go into a bad smoke. And just a, a light burn so that the fragrance begins to come out. That leaf is an angelic reality. That angelic reality causes a great disturbance in bad creatures. They cannot inhale because their existence is, is inhaling, their sustenance is in inhaling. They're not of a physical nature. When you put this type of a smell out, they can't breathe. As a result, they have to leave. And they take away a very bad nazar. Anyone who has nazar on you and bad desire or bad actions, which could be everyone because we don't know who has nazar on us. You make it as a practice that when you come home put a little bit of the tin foil. In Middle Eastern shops they may have a little sort of metal container that looks like a, a what's that thing where you send water through? Has little holes on the bottom? When you like spaghetti and you put water through a strainer, strainer. looks like a strainer, it's metal and you put a little bit of isfahan and then put it on the stove on a light heat and then the smell begins to sort of fragrance the room and take away any type of negativity. You can put your, your face over that type of smoke that's coming out, light smoke and fragrance upon yourself, upon the children and you can move it around the house where you feel the energy is not good and smcmerch.com and so alhamdulillah. We said before that imagine the stories of awliya before that to, to buy a stick from the shaykh and he was promising paradise that buy this house of sticks from me from one dirham. And then they asked, what do you get in exchange if I buy this sticks because it was worthless, it's a stick house, it wasn't a real house. <laughs> it says, I give you a house in paradise. So it means that it's your action and that when you provide an action Allah will provide the reaction and the reward. Don't use your brain with them and say, so, well, I'll get this from Costco, I'll get this from this, I'll do that. But support the path, support the shaykh, support the efforts. Even you think you can get it cheaper elsewhere, you don't know what's coming with that. When you're getting a ring, you can say, I can get a ring from anywhere. Yeah, you can get a ring from anywhere but if there's a du'a on that ring and there's a blessing from holy souls upon that, you can't get that from anywhere on this earth. So it's not what people think. And people whom their hearts are open, they've had dreams, they've had understandings and, and they, un they understand what's attached with these realities. Some, some do and, and most don't. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Would there be any spiritual reason that anger and difficulty in relationships have increased during this blessed time? Yes, definitely. Anytime, anytime the reward is significant and the reward is immense, don't think shaitan is taking a break. Great battles against the nation were launched in Ramadan. Why? Because the believer is trying to achieve something with Allah and shaitan is, is uh, very against it. So it begins to attack and if somebody in the household is not fasting then their shaitan is immensely active against everyone else who is fasting. That's just, you know, that's a given. That's like you, ha you have a soccer game going live in the middle of your living room that if they're not fasting their shaitans are not being brought down. When you enter into the siyam, we said before the rahmah of the siyam, as soon as you enter into it Prophet described the shaitan moves through the blood. Well, if you're not fasting, he's very active in the blood of the person. And as a result, these energies that are coming are making him to go wild and crazy and angry. It's a fire upon them. So just the face of somebody fasting, the proximity of somebody fasting is going to make all, all sorts of difficulties upon people because of the amount of blessings that they're receiving, especially in the last days.
especially because Allah is, is releasing these immense lights and immense love, especially for the tariqah, especially for Naqshbandiyyatul Aliyah that carries that secret and that reality. So there's an immense light, immense love, immense proximity to these holy souls because this is the tariqah for Imam Mahdi that his nazar on the tariqah, his tajalli upon the tariqah, his hand upon the tariqah and all these energies are flowing. Those whom are going to achieve their diplomas and their darajats and their degrees, then alhamdulillah they have istiqam, they have a firmness. And every wind is trying to knock them left and knock them right and it's by Sahib al-Imdad and that is uh, Imam Ali whom is the holder of madad and support. As a result of his love and his ishq that we put upon our chest and burned upon our heart that he holds the feet onto the ground of that tariqah, that don't move from your path, hold very firm. If not for his hands to be holding the feet upon that tariqah, they would have been dust in the wind. So this love, this ishq, this madad, this support, uh, it keeps, keeps everybody and us to be firm in this way inshaAllah for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi So yes the devil is active and he's scared because of what's coming. Uh, as Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, how to get rid of bad energies I have accumulated because of helping someone with depression? That the whole system shaykh, you have to get the timeless reality two copies, one for you and one for the person that had depression. When you ask their questions like this means you're not reading our books or you came in new. If you came in new that's okay by three. <laughs> means this is all energy shaykh, you have to learn how to wash, you get your taweez, put the taweez is upon the house because you're about to go into battle. So if, if, if you're in life, in physical life. We said before that you should have some pants, if you're waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi you should have some tactical pants that are a little bit more subtle than your fufu pants. You should have a, a nice pair of boots, some gloves, a bag with your underwear blankets and some supplies. If you're waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi it's not going to be with you know cotton slippers you're going to be running around so <laughs> you're going to live a life prepared. You keep that on the side as your sign of preparation. But same thing in the spiritual, that if you're thinking you're going to now enter into the spiritual realm and to combat against all these shayateen, well then you have to understand immediately you get the book, read the book, understand the book that you have to have your taweezes. You have to put taweezes on the house, you have to understand your wudu, you have to understand your meditation, your madad, your connection on how to connect. And then as you're going you're building your energy and your practices. And that connection has to be on everything, has to be on the cars. And uh, I'll tell you a situation that we ran an event with Shaykh Hisham. And we're sitting at the event and we were with Sultan Awliya Ma Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani. And in the event they said, okay you come in our car. And when we went in their car we were heading home. And as we're heading home on the highway we're driving and a car from the other lane, from the direction coming this way was coming and then came like a drunk driver into this lane and hit the car that was two cars in front of Shaykh Nazim's car. And that hit, they move aside and Shaykh Nazim's car went. And then when we arrived he said that, Mawlana Shaykh saved you tonight, you are going to be in that car. He brought you into his car to save you. And tariqah is like this, that you don't know when something's coming at you, don't use your head, follow their guidance. You know shaitan gets understanding of people, he wants to take them out by one of his servants who was a drunk driver coming on another lane into that lane and in, in, that was in Rhode Island in New York. So it's everywhere. This is a time in which to have faith, this is a time in which to keep oneself with its understandings, you put taweez on your house, on your car, on your property. And that you listen to the guidance and, and if you're training your heart 
more better for you. If you're not it's going to be difficult when difficulty comes. Those whom are training and connecting they're going to start hearing. As a result of hearing they'll begin to understand the guidance and you don't know when that guidance comes and tells you one day, don't go out today. And that's the day when things may happen and you're supposed to be sitting at home or step out of that place and you step out and, and, and go back to where you're supposed to be. So it's a matter of, uh, of, of belief, if people believe it, alhamdulillah Allah dress them and bless them inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam Sayyidi, my siblings are not practicing anymore and have been plagued with satanic waswas and negative influences. Can the Taweez help them at all and what more can I do for them? Alhamdulillah, everybody has a, a lifeboat, get in it and start rowing. That focus on saving yourself. Focus on saving and making sure that you're really strong in your belief and in your practices, that that's most important. If Allah gave you a wife or, or a husband, you focus on just that. You gave you some children, you put those children into the lifeboat. But if you want to go around and find every relative on earth and put them into the boat, you will sink. Whom Allah saving, very few through these difficulties, whom Allah guiding, very few. Not necessary for you to go left and right to grab everybody, to guide everybody, to put everybody onto something. If they're not inspired by it, they're not desiring it, then save yourself, build your practices so that your faith is strong, your practices are strong. As we said in, in many cultures they come to the shaykh and they say, can I take a few minutes of your time, so okay what, what do you want? Then they want to say, my uncle's got red shoes like this, my aunt got like this, my grandmom got like this, my grandfather got like this. Oh, 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 your policy only contains for you, right? When you go to a lawyer, you paid for one lawyer, one client, not 500 come with that one. So it's not the same. You can't just bring everybody into the tariqah because you found the tariqah. Your policy is for one person yourself. If you include it in your policy, your, your spouse and your children, alhamdulillah, they're in your boat, do your practices, watch the videos, watch the teachings. But if you want because of this one connection to bring everybody on earth into that way, it's going to sink your boat because they're not understanding it, they don't care for it, they don't want the prayer of it. Why are you wasting the time of the shaykh asking for prayers for every relative you've ever known when they're not following, they're not interested, they're not supporting, they're not listening even to the tariqah. So it's, it's precious, use it as something precious that the time of the shaykh, the time that you have to make the du'as and ask for something, make it to be about your boat and your safety inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, how can we make up or compensate for wrongdoing we have done to others before we are taken to account for it on Yawm al Qiyamah? Make istighfar and do good deeds and keep your love for Sayyidina Muhammad and that's the whole teaching is constantly do good deeds. If the sins count as one then every good deed you do counts as ten. So as soon as you think, okay I may have like 500 sins for example, well then do 100 good deeds and that's a thousand and it knocks out the 500. So it means every good deed takes away 10 sins. So alhamdulillah gave us a, a merciful system, do good deeds, give zakat, give sadaqah, uh, make istighfar, make salawat go out and feed people, support the people whom are feeding people, all of these are meant to wash, 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 wash and washing the sins. When we wash our sins, we wash our family's sins, our children's sins and then become now a, a benefit for communities in which every action we do begins to wash the sins of the community inshaAllah. And then that environment that we live in becomes cleaner and cleaner spiritually inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, what's the reality of oud fragrance? Is it more like aromatherapy? 
Oud? Oud. No, has a, again a, a powerful connection with uh, any type of aromatherapy. The reality of aromatherapy has to do with the angelic realm. Smell has to do with the angelic realm. The heavenly fragrances brings about the angelic realm into our vicinity. That when the s- fragrances are pleasing to them, their madad, their energy, their proximity is very strong. The mu'min jinn are like angels, that those fragrances that are pleasing to angels are very pleasing to them. As a result of these pleasant fragrances which become like a breath and a sustenance for them, they, they take that in and, and absorb and energize from that fragrance. So very pleasing for them. That's why the, the mu'min beings is displeasing for them the sins of mankind because it produces an awful wrench and they, 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 they don't like the bad character, bad actions and bad fragrances. It suffocates their being as a result they try to keep their distance from those people. When we want the positive energy, angelic energy, movement beings around us then we fragrance our homes. So that one, it's pleasant for them, it's fragrant for them, it's enjoyable for their existence and two, that it brings about an immense positive energy. As a result, again the bad side, they can't breathe it, they don't like it, they want nothing to do with it. Their sustenance is in that which is foul, spoiled, dirty and they, they they form themselves around those dirty environments, the, the wash facilities, the trash facilities because that's where Allah made their sustenance. So because of that the foul smells we keep away, the wild smells we don't burn the smells that call the bears and all the, the jinn forest into our home. And these, we went to these events and they were burning tobacco and burning all of these spices that we're calling the wild bears and the wild eagles and the wild wolves from the, the jangad from jungle. We don't want those in our home, I, I wouldn't want the physical one <laughs> and I don't want the spiritual ones. So this is not for us. Our system is to bring about the heavenly smells, heavenly fragrances, not the, the wild uh, fragrances inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salam ala mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Illa Sharif Al-Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa Sahbihi Kiram wa la mashaykhina fi tariqat al-Nashbandiyyat al-Aliyya wa sayyir wa sadatina wa siddiqina al-Fatiha.